Hello guys Hello. and welcome back. We are Desi and Fabio and we live in our self-converted Sprinter van on Forteventura. Yes guys, today's video is really exciting because we're finally going to show you how we're actually going to install the tiles, the real tiles, because that's actually what we decided to do. Mm -hmm. Some people are really scared about like putting real tiles on the van because of the weight but at the end we actually like just had four kilograms of weight. Yeah, that's true. We also decided to go for a proper grout. We're going to show you everything in the video and don't be scared that the tire is going to fall off from the wall because we are going off-road with our van a which lot. is not an off-road van yeah. <laughs> but we do it anyway and the tires are still sticking to the wall. So if you're curious how we're going to do this then just watch the video. Hello! We already went to the hardware store this morning to get all the parts that we need for tackling the tile job. This is going to be the project of the day and before we start to attach the tiles to the wall, we are going to build a little wall here between our window and our induction cooktop. First of all, this wall is going to protect our window from all the cooking and all the oil and all the dirt that is flying around when you're cooking. And also it's going to be like a nice little shelf that we're going to put on some plants, like some herbs or some mint. Yeah, whatever we feel like. And that's what we're going to work on today. We just finished to build our little wall in the kitchen. It is so, so beautiful mm -hmm. already now yeah. when there's nothing uh, finished, like there's no tiles on yet. Yeah. It's, Everything is still white, you still see the wood filler on the walls, mm -hmm. but it <laughs> looks so beautiful. We just put a little plant in there and... Just to make a little bit of atmosphere. Yeah, <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> quite late already but we still feel like doing something and I just want to start with the tiles now <laughs> because we are super excited to do that job and we just did some test cuts with the tile cutter and everything works out pretty good so I think we're just gonna cover up everything now and then we're gonna start to attach some tiles to our kitchen guys the weather is a little bit gloomy today before it was really amazing when I took Saki out but I hope this is actually gonna get better so yesterday we left you when we actually were gluing the tires and now we're gonna show you the end results it looks so 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 amazing we are so happy the tiles are matching perfectly to the paint we chose for our cupboards and yeah that's how it's looking now we went a little bit higher here on this side because this is like the main cooking area here you use the induction under the blanket and yeah we learned a couple of things while attaching the tiles we first of all we used the simple glue we didn't use the normal tile mats um yeah it was super easy with the glue just put the glue on the tile stick it to the wall and we used these little spacers here there are 2.5 millimeter spaces and it was working the best when you put on a tile to like really touch the tile underneath and on the side and then you move the tile into the position with the spacer. It was working really really easy and then of course we also had to cut some tiles. Yeah we didn't want to have them stacked on top of each other but like uh, yeah how do you call this I don't know like in a subway. <laughs> yes, subway. subway style I think it's called I don't know. So the first uh, tile here for example needed to be cut in half and we used this tool which Fabio is going to explain you now. Mm -hmm. So guys using this tool was really easy and was really effective too. It was actually quite a quick process. We were really scared before to actually do this kind of thing to cut the tiles because we were never done before and don't know looks like something that a professional needs to do but with this tool it was really easy and handy. So the things we needed to do it was make an incision with this little wheel here 
and have like a, the, the line we wanted where the crack needs to be created for the tile and after do the incision we actually tap it with the, the same tool on top of the incision and after we just needed to put the tile between this and with this part on top on the face of the tile and just push it and just like clamp it or how do you want to call it I don't know anyway doing like this was actually breaking the tile exactly in the same spot we made the incision so it was the measurement were kind of perfect of course but they was actually working really really good so then we actually stick the piece of tiles we cut it onto the wall and they were looking perfect yes we would not recommend if you need to tile like a whole room yeah. this tool is maybe not the right one no. But for like a small area like we had to do here in the van, it was working perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just a little tip, like the the wheel you need to use on the on the smooth surface. Yeah, on the, on the face of the tile, the one you're actually going to see it. What we're going to do now is take off all the spaces, then we're going to clean the tiles and after we start the grout process. Oof, that is going to be transformative and messy. So guys, we just finished to clean the tiles, so everything is smooth, nice and clean. And now we are preparing the area for the grout, to mix the grout and to actually apply them on the tiles. And that's what we actually bought, is a tool kit. This one we of course we bought separate and this is the grout we're gonna use, this is the color Manhattan. And it's gonna look really nice with the green tiles. And that's what we're gonna have, like a couple of sponges a scale that we didn't buy but we had a tom so we can actually measure and be precise with it and this handy tool that is going to help us to apply the grout a bucket actually a couple of buckets one full of water and one empty so we can mix them together and that's it for now it's quite an easy process as we pretty much saw on youtube so hopefully it's gonna go smooth and nice and easy so guys welcome to the lab Welcome to the cooking class. All you need to do is written on the back side of your grout. <laughs> what we need to do to mix one kilogram of grout is take 250 milliliters of water. Show how you take 250 milliliters of water. Oh. Just like that. <laughs> you put it in a clean bucket. And then you measure one kilogram of grout. And that's the magic. And then you need to mix it. Let it sit for three minutes. Yeah, no, but I'm sure you're gonna mess Go, 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 we got a long way to go. Stop! Mm -hmm. I'm just joking. Okay. <laughs> Almost there. I don't think you need to be that precise, but. Yes. You never know. Better follow the instructions. 16 grams off. 16 grams off, guys. Doesn't turn out good. You know why. <laughs> Now we need to wait three minutes and then we can start. How <laughs> hmm? oh, I'm gonna do it, I'm really afraid. Mm -hmm. 
and our bowl is not even straight, so. Nothing is straight here. <laughs> Daisy just finished to put the grout on the tiles. It looks messy, of course, but you can start to see a little bit how it's gonna look like after. And now it's soon, oh, sorry. It's quite starting to get like really small this space. Eh? And now Daisy is actually just starting to clean the tiles. So now we are actually gonna see how the results are gonna be. I'm a little bit scared because you don't really exactly know when you should start to wash the grout <laughs> off. Yeah. It says when the grout, like the kind of clouds here on the tiles are getting dry, it's time to start it, but we don't know. Don't know, you just hope you're not gonna mess it up, but um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. He said the only thing that is important is that you keep your sponge like really flat to the tile mm -hmm. and you don't like squeeze it in too much. Okay. You just like keep consistently, mm -hmm. redo it slowly, time after time. You take off the, the grout that you don't want to have and if you push too much you take off, like you go inside and mm -hmm. then you... You're gonna have some dings, holes. And always in circles and never like left to right or up and down because then you go also too much inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it looks so nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, it looks like so finished. Are you guys curious to see the tires now after the second cleaning pass? Look at this, it looks amazing. I'm so stoked how they turns out. The color Manhattan is perfect with the, the styles and it looks really, really good. I'm gonna take some more videos so you guys can really see better. There is some spot that we need to clean, but overall, this job has been quick, easy and looks amazing. Looks really like finished now really feels like a kitchen so guys that's it for this week's video we hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions about our tiles or our event conversion or just want to say hello to us please leave a comment down below and if you guys didn't subscribe yet and you actually want to see how everything comes out and why like we actually come back to pretend to them think about subscribing and if you do we're gonna see you next week bye, bye. Hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> and if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you. Let's take it slow. And we just did some test cuts. And we just welcome to the lab. All you need to do is written. All you need to do is written on the package. It's way too white. You come down. Sometimes I can't really believe what we're doing here. Like, hmm? sometimes I can't really believe what we're doing here. <laughs> we're doing tiles, maybe. <laughs> no, baby. You ask me how we got here, cause you don't know how. You say we're taking on water, yeah, we're sinking now. 
You're looking all concerned Like we're going 